Hey guys, uh, Mount Masha here in his first video in a long, long time. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> um, it's been quite a while um, for various reasons. But before I get into that, um, I would just like to say a massive, massive welcome back to Marnie who um, has recently come back after deleting her profile a few months ago. I'll let her explain all the reason for why she deleted her profile. Um, but go have a look. She's under the name Nature's Whispers. And uh, you may have known her in the past as Avalon439. Um, just want to say to you myself Marnie that um, you've been greatly missed and uh, it's great to see you you're back and uh, putting videos up again um, because um, well you're great <laughs> basically um, Marnie was you know she was a she was a friend she was more than just um, a person that put videos up and you know, and that I chatted to occasionally. Um, I talked to her a whole lot and uh, I really did think of her as a friend. And I felt like I'd lost a friend when she left. So, now that she's back, it's fantastic. Now, um, the reason why I've been... Uh, the reason why I've been away for quite a while. Um, pretty much for as long as... Um, as Manny um, Avalon has been off, um, a lot of it has been for personal reasons. Um, been having some um, family members that have been ill, um, namely my son, has uh, been a bit unwell. Everything's fine now, and, uh, rather not get into it and bore you with the details, but uh, you know. He was a he was a poorly boy for a while, but everything's fine now, and uh, I couldn't be happier. And I was thinking to myself, when he came out of hospital, man, I really should start uh, doing the whisper videos again, and start writing stories. Um, another reason generally has been because I've just been busy doing other things um, I mean my son he's uh, you know he's, he's one year old now and he's, he's learned how to walk he's nearly learning how to talk and um, well put simply he's taking up a heck of a lot of my time <laughs> so um, I'm really really sorry guys for the uh, for the long for the long hiatus but um, unfortunately it was it was needed I'm back now though and uh, I do plan on writing more stories and doing more whisperer reviews so uh, if you are interested please do stay tuned whilst we're on the subject of uh, staying tuned if I can just say a massive massive thank you for the people who um, over the last three months that I have not been making videos there's still been people looking and viewing and watching the, the videos that I've been making and um, thank you very very much for that it's really heartwarming to uh, go in and look at my profile and notice that it's not just a, a dead profile that there is still people watching the, the videos of mine and the stories and the poems and things like that um, now one thing that I am doing this video for is I want to I want to get a few things off of my chest um, namely and this is probably going to be a bit controversial but one thing in fact, the main thing that I want to get off my chest is the state of people's attitude 
on the internet. Now, in our community, in the Whisper verse, Whisper community, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, we're all such a such a happy lot, and you know, I mean myself as well as others, um, you know, love to compliment other people on their videos and for the originality in some people's videos. I mean, who would have thought seeing gentle whispering, crunching and rolling around a packet of crisps or um, some kind of prawn wheat product around in her hands, who would have thought that could be so relaxing? <laughs> but it is, it really is. Um, however, there is a very, very small percentage of people, namely people who have no idea what the Whisper community is all about and what it stands for, somehow feel the need to spread hateful comments. Now, I know that in internet language, you call this um, trolling. Um, frankly, I think it's wrong to um, actually give them a title because, um, you know, it's just, well, excuse my French for you younger viewers, but it's a set of pricks making idiots out of themselves and hurting other people along the way as well. And that's wrong. Now, I know by saying this, um, you know, it is kind of drawing attention to these people and attention is what these people crave. Um, but just looking at a few things, um, you know, a few hateful comments that people have been giving certain whisperers and, um, you know, for no other reason than to basically, you know, upset the, the person that they were aiming for. Now, I am all for constructive criticism. If I was to create a story and I was to receive a comment saying um, that was a terrible story because, and then proceeded to, you know, give valid feedback as to why they thought it was a terrible story, even if I personally didn't agree with it, that's that person's opinion. You're absolutely entitled to that. But just some of the comments that people give are frankly disgusting. And for the, if you are a troll and you are watching this video and you're thinking of leaving a comment or anything like that, number one, please go ahead. I'm much better than any of you could ever dream to be to even let something that you're about to say get to me. Secondly, um, you know, you're, you're just not doing yourself any favours by, you know, leaving horrible comments because it just makes you look to be a fool. Um, and, you know, if you're just going to leave a comment and say, haha, you're a fag, or, you know, this video sucked because um, I think you're gay or something like that, then, um, you know, grow up. Now, I don't want this to turn into a rant um, because I am very happy at the moment that, you know, my son's out of hospital and uh, Avalon's back. And, you know, I'm generally feeling quite Christmassy as well. Um, but just seeing things like that and um, for people in the UK you probably do know about this for anybody else you may not but there's something going around YouTube at the moment and it's being in, in our UK papers as well about um, a white woman with a toddler on her knee um, basically shouting a lot of racial abuse to um, some black and Polish um, people on a bus. Now, um, 
this woman's been arrested. So, you know, thank you. Uh, because a lot of the time, nothing ever gets done about this. But she has been arrested for it. But um, I feel the need to apologise for being British. Because there's just no need for that kind of attitude in the 21st century. I mean, you know, for Pete's sake, it's, you know, it, so we're in the 21st century, it's modern times now. There is no such thing as being a pure British person. You know, I'm, I am no, you know, I'm white and I am no more British than, um, you know, a, a very good friend of mine who lives just down the street who's black. He's, he's lived here all his life. I've lived here all my life. We're both British. And frankly, if you really want to get technical with it for all of you racists out there, you know, there's, um, there's no such thing as having your country. Because I'm quite certain hundreds and hundreds of years ago, you know, there was many different races who probably only inhabited a certain part of the world. And I'm quite sure Britain, you know, might not have been inhabited by white people all the way back when. Um, I am going slightly off topic, but I'm just trying to say that there's so much hate in the world at the moment. And it's disgusting. And I think... The Whisper community can stand up and rise above that because I honestly think the Whisper community isn't just a place where you know you go and um, listen to relaxing videos uh, to relax. That's part of it, obviously, but mainly I really think it is such a positive place, the positive um, energy, and you know the, the the positive attitude that people have. Um, who do whisper videos and who listen to whisper videos it's quite frankly brilliant and I think we need to be a testament to other people out there who maybe think it is okay to hate on people simply because they're either jealous of what we're doing or we're different in some way shape or form to, um, to everybody else um, so yeah bit of a soft-spoken rant unfortunately I do apologize my, my next video um, will be more traditional it will um, probably be a, a story or maybe a whisperer review I haven't really wrote anything or decided on anything just yet but I'm definitely back guys and, um, and if you are interested please do stay tuned and subscribe um, I have 97 subscribers which I know is nowhere near as many as other people have but from the bottom of my heart thank you so much I never even expected to get 20 subscribers so having 97 really means a lot to me and um, any positive or constructive feedback is always welcome um, but mainly go see nature's whispers because she's fab and she will relax you and make you go to sleep I think she's got one of the most relaxing voices in the world but I think that's it for me guys so um, you know please do keep posted and I should have another video up shortly <laughs>